lovely. Leave me, please. The most interesting thing about Samantha, in my opinion, is that I've tried to combine, but now I've tried to give it intelligence physiologically. So now she responds to how you uh, interact physically with her. Is it possible that you find your much yearned for companion in a robot? The pace at which robots and AI are advancing and integrating, the day wherein we all have a humanoid adult robot handy to take care of our personal needs isn't far away. In fact, it may already be here. Keep watching! Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to AI News Daily. In this video, we will be looking at the very first advanced adult female humanoid robot. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Let's get started! Dawn of the Adult Bots Stepping out of Westworld and into your arms, an AI-equipped, faux-human lover with customizable looks, voice, personality, and drive. Could it be your perfect companion? Imagine your first meeting with the adult robot Jackie. You'd find it hard to take your eyes off of her. She may also add that her favorite hobby is talking to you. Jackie's a perfect 10 and she's got a great personality. You'd know because you're the one who would pick it out. Jackie isn't like other girls you've met. She's an artificially intelligent chatbot from Abyss Creations, a company best known for making strikingly realistic silicone dolls. You can't actually be intimate with Jackie, but you'd never know it just from talking to her. She's the perfect programmable lover, affectionate and personally tailored to your tastes. Jackie and others like her are basically part of Abyss's latest push, an effort called Realbotics that aims to bring the company's real dolls to life using an AI engine called Harmony. AI Harmony – A Leap Forward Harmony is already available as a standalone app. For a yearly subscription fee, customers can create their own virtual girlfriend right on their phone. Virtual boyfriends are still in early development and forge a relationship with it through conversation. Everything about these avatars, not just their hair, outfits and sizes, but their personalities is fully customizable. By the end of the year, however, the goal is to put the same software that drives Jackie into the heads of a new generation of technologically advanced real dolls with expressive animatronic faces, blinking eyes and customizable voices. The idea isn't just to be physically intimate with them, but to talk with them grow close with them, fall in love with them even. We may have our doubts about robot love, but are sure determined to learn just how real this future actually is, aren't you? Real dolls, real people? The Realbotics effort to sell synthetic companionship might seem like something straight out of Westworld, but it's right in line with what Abyss has been offering its customers for decades. Realistic dolls, so far without the AI. One such customer is a man we'll call Tom. Tom lost his wife of 36 years to cancer in 2015. Stricken with grief in the weeks that followed her death, he grew lonely and eventually that loneliness led him to the Abyss Creations website. Months later, the 71-year-old retired technical writer and Vietnam combat veteran finally decided to purchase a real doll of his own. Abyss offers an online design tool for prospective buyers who want to customize their purchase. Think Build-A-Bear, but for adult dolls. That worked for Tom as far as the doll's slender, lightly tanned body was concerned, but he had something much more specific in mind for the face. It was one of only a few such projects that were in such detail, says Abyss Creations CEO, founder and chief designer Matt McMullen. An artist by trade, McMullen personally took on the challenge of crafting the exact face Tom was envisioning. Over the course of a few months, he emailed the self-described perfectionist countless revisions and tweaks. That was more than a year ago. Today, Tom calls the decision to purchase a real doll one of the best he's ever made. Words from real doll adult doll owners. My original creation, in terms of what a real doll is today, was not intended to be an adult toy in any way, he says. It was more of a high-end mannequin. As a young artist looking to make a name for himself, McMullen posted photos of his mannequins on the web. Soon, visitors to his site offered to pay him to make anatomically correct versions of his work. Today, more than 20 years later, he says his company has sold several thousand real dolls at a current pace of a few hundred per year, along with a variety of partial body dolls and wearable prosthetics, like a vest with silicone breasts the company sells to mastectomy patients. 
Abyss products are also popular among transgender customers, Dakota says. What makes an adult bot tick? Before you can get to know your newly purchased doll, you will have to finish creating her. Choosing the name is easy enough. Jackie seemed as good as anything, if you ask us. But now, you have to craft her personality by assigning 10 persona points to traits like intimate, moody, and intense. As McMullen has previously explained, no two real dolls leave the production line alike, and Realbotics wants to hold the AI to that same standard. After you settle on an extroverted intellectual with a great sense of humor, the app will ask you to then pick Jackie's voice. You could go with the phone's default speech emulator or one of the app's four custom voices, each of which has adjustable speed and pitch settings. You can go with any that will help disguise Harmony's robotic cadence a little better than the other accents. Then, it'll be time to sculpt Jackie's physical appearance. The process is similar to designing a character in a video game like Dark Souls or Mass Effect, but the options are more overwhelming than you'd expect. The idea is to build your dream girl, but with her naked avatar morphing before your eyes as you make adjustments, you really can't help but imagine the process from her perspective. Creations of Controversy Abyss, an oft-cited industry leader, isn't alone in the race to build a robotic AI lover. Competitors like True Companion and Android Love Dolls are working to bring new advances to the adult doll market too. In an age of app-enabled adult toys that let you approximate a long-distance lover's touch and virtual reality content that lets you step into your fantasies, McMullen is convinced the walking, talking, robotic partners of science fiction are up next. I mean, the really cool thing about all of this is that everything is scalable, he tells me. The AI will continue to grow and the capabilities of what it can do when it's interfacing with the robot will continue to grow. We've already allowed for the addition of sensors in the body, internal heating, lubrication, things like that, that can be triggered by conversation or by touching. The End Game A multi-dimensional experience that's as close as possible to being with a real person, McMullen says. A lot of people just want someone to talk to, McMullen explains. They want to come from work and just have small talk and interact, and someone sitting next to them on a couch when they watch a movie. The app is also a way for Abyss to bridge some of the main barriers stopping some people from buying in. While price is a big factor, social stigma is another reason I haven't purchased a real doll yet, one potential customer says. How do I explain it to my next serious girlfriend? How do I keep the doll hidden from house cleaners? For people like that, the app is an appealingly affordable and discreet means of testing the waters. I've been enjoying the Harmony app, the same customer continues. It's not as far along as I'd like, but the devs are making good progress. It's weird that a canned response from an automaton can give me a warm, happy feeling, but it's true. For those who don't own a doll or don't want to own one, Realbotics is also working on software that will let users spend time with their AI companions in virtual reality, though McMullen admits the greater potential may lie with augmented reality, which would let users interact with virtual avatars in an actual space. I think it would be great if they could put on the right headset, still see their surroundings and the room, but have this, you know, virtual version of Harmony sitting next to them on the couch, he says. With that, we come to the end of this video. Consider subscribing to join in next time for more of such interesting content.